Welcome back to Stray Trains. In this video, we take a look at the ins and the outs of the Sandrine Ham line. Hope you enjoy the video. And as per normal, let's start off with a quick overview of the line. The Sandrine Ham line is served by Metro's Comange and Siemens trains with the line code of SHM. The line is a total of 14 stations long and 11 of them lie on the Sandringham line exclusively. It serves Melbourne's southern suburbs and is part of the Sandringham Direct Group given the colour light pink on our maps. For service alterations some trains can also terminate at Elstonwick but typically all trains terminate at Sandringham. In terms of service notes, Sandringham trains are typically stops all services that run to Flinders Street and Sandringham Direct all day long. Going back into previous timetables, when Sandringham trains did utilise the City Loop, they were a part of the Caulfield Loop, which is Platforms 2 in the City Loop. One exception though to the originating services at Flinders Street is at 7.04am on a weekday, there is a Sandringham service that originates from the Werribee line that passes Southern Cross and then onto Platform 12 at Flinders Street before heading to Sandringham. So typically speaking, Sandringham trains do depart from Platforms 13 at Flinders Street, but can also depart from Platforms 4, 8, 9, 10 and 12, which does happen from time to time. And in terms of limited expresses, there are none in the peak AM and none on the down in the peak PM. However, on the current timetable, there is one limited express service that departs Sandringham on the up towards Flinders Street on a weekday, which is the 6.05 PM Flinders Street service, running express from Sandringham to Elstonwick, then stopping all stations to Flinders Street. And in terms of service frequency off peak, we're looking at a 15 minute frequency on the Sandringham line. During peak, every roughly 6 to 10 minutes. At night time, every 20 minutes. On the weekend, also every 20 minutes. And on night weekend network, every 60 minutes. Time for some travel tips. The first is if you're travelling towards the city from the Sandringham line, change at Richmond for city loop services. At all times, you will have at least Platform 5 running via the city loop in Southern Cross to Flinders Street, assuming no disruptions. However, if you do want to travel to Southern Cross, I actually recommend taking the train at one more stop all the way to Flinders Street and changing there because at Flinders Street you generally have more lines to choose from when heading towards the Southern Cross direction. Tip number two, if you are on that 6.05 p.m. service originating from Sandringham, make sure you are aware that it is an express service to Elstonwick. And finally, not really a travel tip per se, but if you are interested in a nice sunset and trains, feel free to head all the way to Brighton Beach as you are quite near the beach, you have a nice view of the the bay and the sunset. Plus, you're right near some trains, so train spotting and sunset doesn't get much better than that. As for future plans and ideas, this is all speculation, but it does appear that when the Metro Tunnel opens, the Frankston Line will utilise the Caulfield Loop and the Sandringham Line will become the new third line in the Cross City Group, joining the Werribee and Williamstown Lines. Now, as a result, it appears there is a chance and likelihood that the Frankston line will become 100% extrapolous trains, that is, extrapolous 100 and eventually the extrapolous 2.0 trains, which would leave a plenty of displaced Siemens trains around. As a result, whilst it would be cool to see an extrapolous train run revenue services on the Sandringham line as a regular, I do not recommend that and believe that we are looking like a first ever 100% Siemens group in the future on the Sandringham, Werribee and Williamstown lines. This also provides a benefit as currently Newport is the main maintenance depot for the Siemens Nexus fleet. Now as for an interesting story to conclude the video with, I really couldn't think of anything on the Sandringham line. So firstly if you have watched this far thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, and if you have a 
funny, cool, or interesting story that has happened on the Sandringham line, please put it in the comments so we can all read it, as unfortunately I just really can't think of anything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two about the operation of the Sandringham line. And I think we'll leave it at that. Cheers.